<laughs> How close are we going? <laughs> Hai semua, selamat datang ke Walas Klasik. Terima kasih kerana datang ke channel saya. Saya nak cakap satu benda ni, macam ni. Kalau pelancong datang ke Malaysia ni dengan satu impian saja dia nak tengok apa ni Twin Tower. Lepas tu check in dekat-dekat dengan Twin Tower. Sebab apa bila dia buka tingkap dia, dia nak nampak Twin Tower. Malam pemandangan yang sangat cantik. Lepas tu nak terjun dalam Infinity Pool. Ha, lepas tu buat apa pula? Lepas tu, YouTuber-YouTuber yang lain tu semua dah bagi tahu dia orang, ah pergi makan, pergi makan, pergi makan, rau, makan cendol, makan mutabak, makan apa balik, makan macam-macam, banyak makanan di Malaysia, cakap macam sudah ram-ram-ram tu, ah, kamu naik bas ke, train ke, apa-apalah, kamu pergi Singapura, pergi Thailand, dia cakap macam tu. Tapi hari ni kita ada YouTuber Mario dan Olivia, mereka bijak, mereka pergi ke Kuantan. what we're gonna do today yeah but that's not the best part the best part is that apparently there's a lot of crocodiles so fingers crossed that this might be our first ever time seeing wild saltwater crocodiles this is exciting man i cannot wait kind of nervous at the same time yeah i don't know if they come up to the boat or anything but it'll be really cool to see them if we do there's going to be all kinds of other wildlife as well so can't wait to see what there is along kuantan river do this <laughs> bit scared that she said be careful hopefully crocodiles don't come too close hello you know i know hello. oh nice not many malay people know lithuania uh, i know because i'm i uh, working in airport so I, I ah okay yeah, yeah. yeah so you know all the countries in the world yeah. <laughs> so we just got on the boat it's got these nice little cushions it's really comfortable because we're going to be on here for about two hours i think going upstream and then downstream to the sea they give you all kinds of little snacks here. Really nice, nice little setup. Yeah, it's some of the most comfiest boat cruises we've yeah. ever been on. They have like cushions and everything. Probably I'll take <laughs> a little chilling. nap on here yeah. as well. Ready? So just about 30 seconds on the boat, we still haven't left the city, there's already crocodiles here and apparently there's like a baby one somewhere there. It's probably gone with Mario's okay. loud voice. Do you have to keep it quiet? Uh, yes. Okay, so I think I just scared one. Okay. Sorry guys. So they don't eat people? No. Oh. But, but they but will attack you. They will attack you. Fingers crossed this time and if I see him, I'm, I'm not gonna be vlogging too loud. So we've just been told that the owner of these like gypsy boats is pretty rich. Yeah, boats. A boat like this costs 1.5 to 2 million. Now it's 2 million. The thing is the people who work with the fishermen, they only get paid 300 ringgit a month from the government, which is absolute peanuts. And when it comes to dry season, they can't get out and do any work. So they're not getting any money for food, which is pretty devastating actually. Our right hand side, the orange boat, a one one, double one, double six. Okay, this boat, we call first same boat. The net right side on the boat. This boat go out to this, catch same amount with the throttle boat. The net right back go out to it. The boat almost same size, they catch almost same amount. This goes out for two weeks and people live there. How many people live in this one? Okay, uh, six or seven only. Six or seven, right. Makes sense, otherwise you wouldn't fit any more people there. No. Is there a crocodile just uh, there? Otter, otter. Otter? otter. Ah, okay. okay. Mate, I was like so excited. Crocodile, but no, it's an otter. Still quite interesting, actually. Just having a little swim. They look like little seals, to be honest. Uh, it's crazy how there's so much wildlife just here, right next to the city, at the port, where all the busy and loud boats are. Yeah. So did you say these are illegal boats from yeah. Thailand and Vietnam? Yeah, from, from Vietnam, actually, yeah. So they're like illegal, not licensed fishermen? Yes. Okay. Mm -mm. Many legal, many illegal. Okay, uh, usually one day, uh, four illegal boats, they pull to the sea and sink the boat. So apparently these boats come from China and they have been waiting for permits to be here for the past six years. <laughs> it's like a long ass wait, man. Imagine you, you the guy just waiting there for six years, like, when are we gonna get it? I feel like this guy has way better eyesight than us because he can spot things from a mile away and the crocodiles really camouflage, like they're the same color as the mangroves quite hard to spot them but he seems like he knows what he's doing the mangroves are so vast they could be literally anywhere inside those mangroves so if you went for a little hike yourself along the mangroves 
you might not be able to come back. I can see the first little crocodile just sticking out. It's a really like quite small one, like about just over a meter long maybe. It's like a baby, a teenager maybe. We're gonna get a little bit closer. Yeah, but are you capturing it? It's just there. What do you do? Right here. Oh, yes. <laughs> How close are we going? <laughs> oh, We've gone somewhere. It's actually quite scary because you have no idea where they are and you can't see them that well. So yeah. you wouldn't know until it's right in front of you about to bite you. Basically. If you were like hiking, you know, like God, you no. would probably step on one of them. It looks like a piece of log. It took us ages to spot it and it's right in front of us. You can see on surface. Yeah. Is it a croc big crocodile or wood? Oh yeah, it's something moving. Yeah, moving. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I want to go. Let's get closer. Bite and pull. Yes. So he just told yeah, us that I, someone died last month yes. because they got bit by a crocodile and dragged mm. in. Drown, actually. So is it the death the death spin when no, no, death row? No, death row. No. Uh, yeah. Because here crocodile never eat people. They only uh, protect. Just to attack okay. and like don't mess with me. So and my, they're either protecting the eggs, protecting the babies, or if you're disturbing them, yes. they might bite you. So don't disturb them and don't go near any with babies. Okay. Right. So this might be the moment of truth. I think we're gonna go to the biggest crocodile today. Let's see if you can spot one. On the water? No, in the bush. So oh. Trying to capture it on the cannon and it's so well camouflaged that the autofocus is just focusing on random stuff and not the crocodile. I feel like this one is about, what, what, nearly two meters long? It's quite big. It would mess you up big time yeah. if you just went, you know, and messed with it. The tail is huge as well. And that's not even the biggest ones we've seen there. He showed us a video of the biggest one here. It was like, the size of three Literally. people combined. Like the ones you see in the movies, terrifying. you know, the, the cannibal ones, it looks like that. We're gonna enter the small little river here. Uh, the captain says that this is a bit scary, you know, like when he says a bit scary, not supposed to, it's the, the places we do want to go. I feel like a proper crocodile hunter right now, just going to little rivers and little places to find crocodiles. Before you scare them all away, bro. I'll make some nice shoes for myself. If continuous bubble, uh, crocodile, but one, one, Continuous, oh. many, many. Yeah, here, Mario. Continuous, many there, there. So we just stopped by the big Kuantan sign to take some pictures and so far on the trip, we've actually seen quite a bit of wildlife. We saw some otters, crocodiles, monitor lizards, and eagles as well. So we saw quite a lot of animals. Would have liked to see more crocodiles, but I think obviously we can't control that. That is just down to look, really. You are so good. Mario's just stuffing his face. I mean, it's really nice to have all these free snacks while you're cruising along the river here. And you get to see all the main landmarks as well, right behind us. no idea actually there's so many complex little things you know but it's quite nice and I think if you do come to Kuantan you should totally get this boat you know and check it out man if you actually want to learn a little bit more about this place Mario's just got loads of food in his teeth you like you're missing a tooth at the bottom I haven't had breakfast so you know I was kind of like uh, surprised and also pretty happy to see there's lots of food and this snacks is Mario's breakfast <laughs> he's got a special present for us I see you never get for ladies only okay. ladies only you first? Okay. I want to give you my book from here until I will get there. Okay, this is okay, both of you. This is terribly like a car. This is trotter. Do I get to drive? Poor lady, I have to touch this wheel. Okay, man, okay, you can run in the boat. Okay, this is trotter. If you want to speed, just slowly push. When you get your speed, let go. Both men go steering with me. Is it for you to to turn? Okay. If you have to slow down, I'm so excited. So right. I, I don't remember how. Just push the front out. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so just make sure you turn. Right to the left. The left. The left. The left first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't hit the riverbank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I don't promise okay. that we okay. get out of this alive because I can't drive. We trust Olivia's skills. Olivia's face. I don't know how this boat works. Uh, left, 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 left. Go full speed, let's do it.
Okay, for the last, for the last. Okay, faster. One more leg, then we go to the Okay, go faster. Pucat juga Olivia tu. Dahlah dia tak tahu memandu. Ini memandu bot pula. Pula orang Malaysia baik hati sangat. Sampai pemandu bot tu boleh bagi uh, Olivia bawa bot tu. Bukan saja Olivia. Eh. Ada seorang lagi uh, wanita dalam bot tu. Mungkin dia ada bawa juga lah bot tu. Tak ada dalam video tu. Tapi itulah kadang-kadang um, kita kena jaga keselamatan juga lah kan. No problem. No problem. So glad that his boat is still in one piece after that. Could have gone a completely different way with me driving. Thank you. Did you guys have a nice time? <laughs> yeah, it was really fun. You can try maybe, they say the river fish, catfish, ikan patin, that one is also famous. Oh, yeah. uh, ikan patin, is it, it tempoyak? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah we tried we tried this dish before in the That's past. Favorite. It's one of our favorite dishes oh, here okay. in Malaysia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that one is also very famous here. In oh, okay. Wartan, yeah. So like fish and seafood. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. I have another recommendation, it's very nice. The chindol, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah the one in Aipute. It just melts in your mouth. Yeah, it's not it's not the rough eye shaving, the, the very, yeah. Olivia proper loves chendol. I like chendol. It's oh. nice on a hot day. Yeah. It is, it is. It's very nice. Yeah. Okay. okay, thank you very much. No problem. Thank you so much. Mario and Liv. The lady who works at the River Cruise just gave us loads of recommendations on food, which we're gonna go and find in a second. But we just wanted to say that even though we didn't see that many crocodiles, it was still really awesome and the fact I got to drive the boat just like topped it off for me. He said the men couldn't drive the boat because men go a bit too crazy with it, which I can completely understand. Mario probably would have gone like double the speed. No, I think it was way more thrilling that Olivia was behind the wheel because I Olivia never drive. drives. Uh, I, I forced her once to drive a motorbike. It did end up somewhere in the bush. I ended up in a bush. So yeah. <laughs> so well. luckily we didn't end up in the mangroves here. But that was thrilling, just because Olivia was driving. Everyone was screaming on the boat and stuff. That was really yeah, really cool. There was a Malaysian family with us with the baby. I was like, I need to be careful because there's a <laughs> child on board. But it was really fun. And they actually also do a sunset tour as well, where you can see the fireflies and you can also go looking for crocodiles, which also looks really fun as well. And you'd see Kuantan in a completely different way too. So we'll put the link to their WhatsApp where you can contact them to book a trip and the Google map as well so you know where to come if you want to come to the ticket office because I think it's definitely one of the coolest things to do in Kuantan. They're just fresh from out of the fryer. And I think we're going to get some sausages as well. Two sausages? What, what is this one by the way? This one, chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. Yeah. Let's give it a try. Right, one of those and one and two. This is the best thing to have when you're on the beach. Some hot dogs and sure. fish sticks. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Alright. Now we gotta watch out for the monkeys. No idea what this is. Looks like some sort of ice cream. <laughs> but it's a meat chicken looks sandwich. Like tofu almost. I know, right? It looks so alien to us. Like we never tried anything like that. Chicken ice cream. Mmm. Oh man. It's really good. Really? Nothing like that before. Mm. That's nice. Wow. Has Surprising. some kind of glazing. Really nice. To mm, the chicken and everything. When I first tried Karapok Lakar, I really didn't like it. It was too fishy, but the more I eat it, the more I try it. Pretty good. The more I love it. It's becoming one of my favorite snacks, and the sauce as well. It's so good. Snacks were so good, we just came back for more. Look how much I just bought. This is one dollar 
for 15. That's a lot of food. Five ringgit, yeah. Yeah. Wow. And she's added a little bit extra. I know, she's giving me these like crackers. They're also really good. I just had Damn. to get another one of those chicken sandwiches, this like proper alien, I absolutely love it. I just don't know if I should take it back or just eat it right now. <laughs> I know you're going to eat it right now oh, when they turn nice. off the camera. Ah, screw it. <laughs> well, she's hot. Sitting here and eating these snacks makes me feel like a proper local. I feel like this is what everybody does here in Kuantan in the evening. It's really relaxing. Mm. There's not like really any loud music blasting or anything. And everybody's just chilling. It's good vibes. It's good vibes here. I'm liking Kuantan so far. It's been a great day. Ha, best juga kan dekat Kuantan tu ada aktiviti macam ni boleh pergi tengok buaya, anak buaya, bapa buaya. Lepas tu dekat pantai tu ada orang jual makanan dan makanan pun tengok best-best. Hmm, lepas dia beli makan-makan tu boleh dah duduk bersantai dekat beach tu, dekat pantai-pantai tu. Tengok air dia pun tenang, cantik dan bersih. Okey, sampai di sini saja. Terima kasih datang ke Wallace Classic dan kita jumpa lagi. Bye bye.